This time of the year is a time when most of us wants to shed a bit of weight. We picked up a little bit of weight because it's not nice to have a cold plate of salad for dinner every single night. We enjoyed the pasta and the red wine and the nice hot desserts and puddings. And now we want to shed that weight because spring is on its way and we want to lie next to the pool to tan and bathe and just enjoy the outdoors. And that's why most of us reads up on diets and rules of what to eat and not to eat. And there's lots of rules. I'm busy here with the abs diet. And it says to, you, to me that I must have a high protein diet. Some people just say you have to drink more water. Some people just say you have to cut out carbs in your diet. And there's lots of rules. And while I was reading this, I thought of a passage in the Bible in the book of Mark where Jesus and the Pharisees are arguing about food, arguing of what to eat and not to eat, about rules. The Pharisees accuses Jesus' disciples of eating unclean food, unholy food. They didn't wash their hands and now they're busy eating that food. And the Pharisees said to them, because they have lots of rules of what to eat and not to eat and how to eat it, because they are eating unholy, unclean food, and they are taking that into their mouths, they are making themselves unclean. And then Jesus says to them, It's not what goes into your mouth or into you that makes a man unclean, but it is what comes out of him that makes him unclean. What does Jesus mean by that? Jesus actually says to them, it is not the most important if you obey rules or not. It's all about the intention of your heart. Why you do stuff. Just think of your life. Why do you do good to other people? What is the intention of your heart? Do you do it to be seen by other people? To get more status in the community? Or do you do it because you realize what God has done for you and you are just giving back to Him by giving to other people? What is the intention of your heart? It doesn't matter if you obey rules or not. All of us obey rules. We obey rules of our religion, of our faith. We pray to God, we read the scripture, we go to church every Sunday. But, we also hurt people by the words we say. We also hurt people by things we do. Just how many times did you lie? How many times have you done stuff to look good in front of people, but meanwhile you have other intentions? What is the meaning of your heart? Jesus doesn't want us to change outwardly. He wants a change of heart. And that is to convert to the faith in Jesus Christ. But that is only possible if you realize what goes on in God's heart. God's heart is full of love and grace. He gave His only child for you and me to be able to live forever. And if you realize something of that, your heart becomes a fountain. A fountain that overflows through your mouth with God's love, with forgiveness, with respect. And it flows over to your deeds. Deeds of serving other people. It is very important for us to look good and to eat the right stuff, to eat healthy and not to harm our bodies. But God says to us, it's better to have a clean heart. It's not what goes into your mouth that makes you unclean, but what comes out of it. Because it can do a much more harm. Ask God to give you a clean heart. May you eat healthy this week and lose a bit of weight. 
but may be much more of a priority to you this week to clean your heart, to change your heart. Till next week.